Hey everyone, welcome back to a special weekend video at Nintendo Prime because we have some Nintendo Direct rumors to talk about, including something that someone is making a particular bet. Like if you were to make a Super Bowl level bet against it, you would be considered to be foolish. That being said, before we get into it, I will remind you we are giving away, <laughs> well, a Switch OLED, a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X to enter. You just gotta go down to the pinned comment or into the description, click on that gleam.io link, and I wish everybody who enters luck. So look, it's been a bit of a crazy few days for us here at Nintendo Prime. The studio is starting to fall apart at the seams. Uh, we're preparing to literally rip everything out of our house and studio as we're going to be taking out all the carpet, putting brand new flooring in, and we actually already have started construction on two brand new sets for you guys. This set you see here, this look you're seeing right now, it's not going to be around for much longer. So enjoy the current set, the current podcast set, everything while it lasts. This set will be gone as of the weekend of the 18th and 19th, I believe, of this month. So uh, that'll be the last time you see this set in its current iteration, and we'll have to wish it farewell. That being said, let's get into the actual rumors here. And oh boy, we need to bring our tinfoil hats. We need to bring our skepticism to the uh, to the fray, and as this person says, hype responsibly, always, always, always hype responsibly. I think he stole the line from me, but that's neither here nor there. So this rumor comes from somebody that I have stated in the past to not trust, and that's okay. This person isn't out there stealing leaks from others. This person also isn't out there pretending that he knows everything. So they've gotten some things right. Call it predictions if you want. Sometimes they get some things wrong, whatever. Supposedly he's still credible enough to be covered by comicbook.com. So we're gonna talk about it here and that is Zippo. So Zippo over on his blog uh, put up two interesting blogs. One of them I think is being mischaracterized, at least I think the game he's talking about being mischaracterized, the other is directly about the direct. So his blog post that he put up uh, a few days ago says, well, here we are, a new month, and it's time to do what we do every year, overhype a video game commercial, aka a direct. Uh, but seriously, yes, I'm hearing that the first direct of the year will take place this month in February, and could be as soon as next week. He's talking about next week, uh, not you know, not the current week that we're in now or ending. Uh, this week is being ruled out because of Nintendo's imminent financial briefings. Obviously, we already got that. Uh, I'm going to go and say it, and he's, it's going to be a big one. I'm not sure of the content at this point in time, but it's safe to assume that Kirby and the Forgotten Lands, Platoon 3, Advanced Wars 1 Plus 2, Reboot Camp, and the heavily rumored Xenoblade Chronicles 3, and a new Fire Emblem title will likely be featured in this one. Again, that's all stuff we either know about or has heavily been rumored about. Nintendo has a metric shit ton to talk about, so I expect some huge bombs to be dropped in this presentation. So, okay, I wouldn't know that any of that, I mean, the Fire Emblem game would be a new announcement, but the rest of that's not really huge bombs, but this is the line that has me, this is why we're really talking about this, because all that's just safe, right? Okay, there's traditionally a Nintendo Direct in February, seven of the last 10, uh, you know, seven, was it seven of the last 10 uh, Februarys? Also, fun fact, did you know that Nintendo has a nearly 100% track record outside of the COVID year, where financial briefing, one to two weeks later, there's a Direct? I don't, I, I don't know if people realize how Nintendo times those directs conveniently after financial briefings. That being said, uh, let's just look at what he said here. So it, if you made a Super Bowl sized money bet, so millions and millions of dollars mm -hmm. on a new blank not being real, you're going to be out a lot of money. And the new blank he's talking about is Mario Kart 9. 10 crossroads whatever you want to call it it's had a number of rumored names but a brand new mario kart game there he's essentially saying look you could pretend that this game doesn't exist you can even put a super bowl like bet down so millions of dollars down that this game isn't happening and uh he would say you'd be out all that money so one obviously i think a new mario kart game comes someday so you could argue this sentence will eventually be true but the inference obviously is that it's going to be a switch title which that's very interesting considering Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the best selling Mario Kart game of all time. It's also not a brand new Mario Kart game. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how this all plays out. All I know right now is uh, he is saying no matter how much money you put down, you're just gonna lose it all if you're betting against a new Mario Kart. Now he doesn't say the Mario Kart will be dropped at this direct, but that it's coming, it's happening. And there's been even some rumors from others that it might drop this year. Now, what I also really like 
um, is something he mentions, uh, I think just yesterday. Uh, he said, sometimes I really don't understand Nintendo as a company or as a developer. This is one of those times one, two switch is one of the most dull, lifeless, forgettable games I've ever played yet. It's getting a sequel for some reason. It's so well, I think usually when I do a scoop, it's usually the game I'm interested in. This is not one of those games. This year is really going to be 2017 part two, isn't it? So what's interesting about this part here is obviously that we've heard some slight rumors out there that we were going to get a sequel Nate the hate and others out there put, we're getting a sequel to a game or we're getting some sort of game from Nintendo, a casual game that nobody wants and I'm going to fight back on this a little bit one two switch to me is a good game I think it's a misunderstood title yes Nintendo pretended it was gonna be some game that you go with Karen to a rooftop party with your okay yeah that was probably an unrealistic situation but I've actually played one two switch with a number of children with a number of adults I've actually had it out at parties it's fun one two switch is a fun game it's a party mini game experience that adds in the ability for there to be tons of people playing at once it is literally the definition of a party game and it's really good at it it takes full advantage of the hd rumble and does prove the concept that this rumble is significantly better than most other rumbles we have gotten outside of the playstation 5 dual sense i honestly think that this game is only viewed the way it is because nintendo sold it as a 60 dollars product at launch when it should have been this generation's Wii Sports impacted. And notice how Wii Sports doesn't have a bad reputation. Who wants to play that? Oh, it's sports games. Uh, sports are more exciting. Guys, 1-2 Switch isn't a bad game. I literally owned it at launch and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I've probably spent over 100 hours playing multiplayer matches in it. So, yeah. Um, a sequel called 1-2-3 Switch or whatever they end up calling it. I am all for. And I'll probably end up picking it up again. I think 1-2 Switch just gets a bad rap because it felt like it should have been a packing game. And Nintendo maybe shouldn't have charged 60 bucks. I could, I could argue it's probably more like a $40 experience at launch than a 60, but you know, brand new system launching, I can kind of see where Nintendo was going with that. That being said, yeah, these are all rumors. Um, could be made up, you know, at, let me know down in the comments, like hashtag team real, hashtag team fake. I'm probably on team fake here, but that doesn't mean I think everything he is saying is wrong. I do think a new Mario Kart game is happening, which is one reason why I wanted to talk about this. Whether it gets revealed this month or later, I don't know. Also, interesting note about this Direct. So, Nintendo has this thing on their website where they list upcoming games. It gets updated every time there's a new financial briefing, and the order in which they list the games uh, has a 100% track record to be in the order at which Nintendo releases the games. Here's the interesting note. Breath of the Wild 2 is listed before Splatoon 3. Um, a lot of us felt like Splatoon 3 would be a summer title, but if Splatoon 3 is going to be their holiday hitter, is Breath of the Wild 2 a summer game? Obviously, I think if it is, we're seeing it at this direct, probably with a full title reveal, as Nintendo ramps up the next three, four, five months of hype for that game. Anyways, obviously, this is all speculation at this point, but I am really, really excited for the prospect of a future Nintendo Direct this month. All right, folks. Hopefully I'll be live reacting with you next week. It'll still be on the set. It'll probably be the last live reaction uh, show on this set, but uh, I'm, I'm still so really excited about it. The countdown is on guys for brand new studio. I can't wait to reveal. We will do a quick pan over of the old studio before everything gets torn down, even though there's already been some changes without any footage recorded. It's okay. It was through a section of the studio that was mostly off limits to you guys. It's now going to be part of the grander scheme. In fact, there's going to be a lot changing uh, with our studio. I don't want to go over everything. We will go over it in our studio tour uh, that we actually plan to do. It's going to be a studio update. One uh, big thing about this tour is going to be some some cable managing as well that I, I, I need to perfect uh, and see what additional cables, if any, I need to purchase. Uh, we're going to see that the, things are going to be changing a lot. Um, but I'm really excited for the future of this channel. I always say, if you're not improving, you're not improving. You know, we, we, we just dropped, believe it or not, $3,000 yesterday. Um, not all of it was specifically for the studio, but a huge chunk of it was. Uh, and we have more we're spending uh, coming forward because as we bring the next generation of Nintendo Prime to all of you guys. I, I, I'm i getting a little nostalgic looking around this room. This has been our set now for over a year. Uh, and it feels crazy that a year later, you know, a little over a year later, we're, we're changing it all. We're uh, tearing it down. I mean, th th this this part of this set was built, you know, back right before E3 last year. And it's getting torn down. And it's gonna be a, 
It's gonna be interesting, that's for sure. But some things will stay the same. Our audio equipment's not getting swapped out. Our camera equipment's not getting swapped out. But I'm really, whew, I'm excited. So catch you guys um, in a couple weeks. Otherwise, we'll just keep doing our regular content as, lo as long as we can. Um, there's going to be, I would say, probably a four or five day period where you guys are going to end up getting a lot of either, if not voiceover gameplay videos, uh, me using a pseudo green screen with probably not the best lighting. Uh, just because, hey, that's when the studio is completely torn down and I will have to rely on uh, my laptop and a more portable setup. So, all right, folks, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Video. Live stream. Episode. Do we, do we call every video on my channel an episode? What? How many episodes would that be then? Like 2,700? Man, I've been doing a lot of videos.